I was helping a friend clean out his dad's old place, Amusement World, and we found this super retro monitor, and we decided to plug it in. What harm could come? What, what amazed us, though, was even though this thing looks like it hasn't been powered on in about 30 years, we powered it up, it worked. Right now, I just have my little AVR outputting the NTSC by network, and this thing is so retro. Let's see here. You can get the nice, like, green lines, with the, the knob that controls brightness and all that. Let's see if we can zoom in a lot. You can see it has like a haze on the monitor. Not really sure what that's from. And I uh, have it rigged up here so that I can just go over to my computer here and uh, I can uh, say pipe in uh, ASCII Star Wars, which is kind of terrible because this is a 48 column screen and this is not a design for a 48 column screen. But uh, as you can see here, it kind of sort of tries to work. It's kind of terrible. But uh, the other thing we can do is go over here and I'm going to start up a new shell terminal. And I'm going to visit LINKS. And link starts up and I can say go to retro.hack day.com and like that we are now loading Hackaday on the super retro monitor so I don't know if this qualifies as a submission because we're running links on a laptop piping it over to an AVR and then displaying it on the super old retro monitor well uh, I'm sure I'll be using this thing for lots of unusual stuff